you can advertise your business on Night Dreams Talk Radio and you will be heard worldwide. Why not contact us at nightdreamstalkradio at gmail.com. Night Dreams Talk Radio Network brings you the world paranormal news with James Creechbaum. Now, the latest news. This is Night Dreams Talk Radio Network News. I'm James Creechbaum. Study finds rats show signs of empathy towards other rats. Neuroscientists at the Netherlands Institute for Neuroscience developed a simple test to determine if rats showed harm aversion, a moral trait of most humans that causes them to feel bad about hurting fellow humans. It has long been accepted that humans have empathy towards each other while animals are selfish. And a study published in Current Biology and summarized in a press release the researchers reveal that rats who saw that their pleasure meant pain for another rat, even a rat they had never seen before, would stop pressing the lever. Upgraded space fence will make it safer for satellites as junk proliferates. Now, the U.S. Space Force has finished testing its upgraded system to make space safer by tracking thousands of objects floating out there. The system known as a space fence is a ground-based radar system that hasn't changed in years. Meanwhile, new satellites are going up all the time, and space junk is, growing, is a growing problem. Now, on March 4th, a report indicates a huge leap is about to happen in the system's capabilities, allowing it to track as many as 200,000 objects, some as small as 4 inches in length. The system will be available in managing orbit paths and avoiding collisions that could disable satellites and produce yet more space junk. NASA is looking for people to travel to the moon and Mars, and you only have to the end of March to apply. NASA has just started accepting applications from wannabe astronauts who would like to travel to the moon and potentially Mars. We're looking for talented men and women from diverse backgrounds and every walk of life to join us in this new era of human exploration that begins with the Artemis program to the moon. Successful applications will have a chance to join NASA's Artemis program, which aims to land men and women on the moon as early as 2024. 11 million Brazilians believe that the Earth is flat. A surprisingly large number of people in Brazil subscribe to the idea that our planet is not what it seems. In an age of orbiting satellites, interplanetary spacecraft, and a fully manned space station, the fact that the Earth is round is indisputable as the nose on your face. Remarkably, however, there are still those who remain adamant that the Earth is actually flat. One country in which belief and this rather bizarre concept is particularly widespread in Brazil, a nation in which, according to recent polling data, as much as 7% of the population think that the Earth is flat. That's a whopping 11 million people. Now, the idea that the Earth is flat seems to be continuing to gain traction all over the world. Official, official name of Mars 2020 rover has been revealed. NASA has finally decided upon a name for the upcoming Mars rover. While for years the rover had simply been referred to as Mars 2020, the space agency has now finally decided on a proper name for it, Perseverance or Percy for short. The name was picked from over 28,000 essay submissions by kindergarten to 12th grade students around the country. The winning entry was written by Alex Mather from Lake Braddock Secondary School in Burt, Virginia. Perseverance will launch sometime between July 17th and August 5th of this year. Now, if you have a news story you want us to share on Night Dreams Talk Radio, contact us at James Night Dreams Talk Radio News at gmail.com. You are listening to Night Dreams Talk Radio After Dark with our host, 
Gary Anderson. And that is me. We got Ryan. We got James. We're talking about UFOs right now. We did talk about cryptics and things like that. Oh, wait up. Wait a minute, guys. I just rolled my chair and almost fell off the earth because it's flat. I don't know. Uh, you know what? I, I don't believe the earth is flat. Uh, I, come on, people. I'd be, I, I, bazillions now. Next, it'll be from people in Washington, D.C. that thinks the world's flat. The world is not flat. We're not living in the metrics. We're flesh and blood beings. We're not in the metrics. But if you want to believe the world is flat, I mean, I had a flat earther on the show, a, a major player in it. And his story has literally changed from uh, every time he goes on a different show. He has a different story about how the earth is flat. Come on. We're not living in a huge alien warehouse and has pictures of the the sun and planets hanging down from the top of the warehouse and the warehouse is 20,000 miles big by who knows how wide. I mean, come on. This is ridiculous. The world is round. Look at, have you ever, of course, it's your imagination. But have you ever been in an airplane and noticed the curvature of the earth? If you've been out and looked at it, have you ever seen how the shape of the earth is? Have you ever seen pictures from the space station? It tells you right there that. Well, unless they're lying and giving us phony feed, but why would they lie about the earth being flat? Come on, James. These bazillions need a bazillion wax job. <laughs> 11, million, 11 million of them, too. And what about the pictures from, you know, the earth, or I mean the moon looking back at the earth, and even being on the ocean? I've been on the ocean many, many times. You can only see like 22 point some miles because of the curvature of the earth. Well, you know what? Last night I listened to another talk show after, you know, because I, I just wanted to listen to a weekend talk show. And they had a guest on it claims we never, well, probably never went to the moon because based on like the Hasselblad camera that the film in it, when they were in on the moon, right? And Armstrong was getting his pictures taken or he was taking the pictures of hundreds and hundreds of pictures. Okay, and that we ha and one thing the guy doesn't understand: House of Blood does and did make a film uh, uh, back that would have held a lot of film to take hundreds of pictures. Okay, and the lens wouldn't need to be a self-focusing lens because of the aperture of the lens. They wouldn't even have to focus it; they could have the lens set in indefinitely for. If they were like 10 feet away from something, everything else would there be in focus. Now, he said the film would vaporize on the moon. Duh, have you ever saw it? The, the camera was mounted in a airtight uh, container. Yeah. It wasn't walking around with a hass of blood. And, and so you get all these people, it, it, it spread these rumors and stories that they've all of a sudden become true. Mom. Yeah. Hey, well, James, I can, better watch it, out yeah. when you go to bed tonight because you know what? We could have an earthquake and part of the earth could break off. And when you go to put your feet down, you're falling out in space. That's, I'll keep that in mind. You, you know, you mentioned that about the flat earth and the moon. I actually asked, the, the, asked him if he believed we went to the moon. And he said, absolutely not. But, you know, the thing is about when you were speaking about these pictures that the astronauts took. Now, I can play devil's advocate here for uh, this for a second. Number one, the special camera that they made, that they carried, that they took, it was, I think the camera cost almost a million dollars. There was seven of them made. Right. And in, 1960, in 1966, three of them was given to Stanley Kubiak, mysteriously. And also, and these are facts, you can look this stuff up. Also, if you take the time allotted that they were on the moon, and take that time as the pictures that they took. Now, all the pictures they took were pretty much perfect pictures. There's no, there no mistakes. They're like per nice pictures. Well, you don't have if to adjust. Okay, but you don't have to adjust the, uh, the uh, aperture or, or, I mean, the focus or anything. Okay. The, the lens was well, pre-focused, so it, it, everything would be in focus. But, okay, okay, how do you think they took the picture? Do you think that with the hospital they had to turn a crank and take a picture each time? It was motor. No, that, it was motor driven. It had a big film magazine on the back of it. 
I got you. But here's the thing. If you add up all the thousands of pictures they took and you take that divided by the hours they were there with possible hours that they took. Two and a half hours. It doesn't add up. It yeah, doesn't it, add up. It does it's add like up. The pictures way up. The pictures way outweigh the time they had to take. No, no, no. You know how many, uh, that house of blood, you know how many frames it could take a second? I, I don't, I don't, I do not know. Three frames a second. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's well, pretty good back well, then. Well, I mean, I'm not. No, that's not <laughs> back then. That was in the, no, seriously. I, I one thing I, I've known, I've shot for major publications, but I, I, I've been in photography all my life. And I can tell you that is quite possible. So I, I disagree with their yeah. philosophy. Three frame. I owned a Hasselblad, that vintage, not the one that went to the moon. It had all the perfect, perfect parts in it, absolutely flawless parts. But I, it, part of that cost of those cameras was the the thing it it held it to to make it airtight, very expensive. But I can honestly tell you, motor drive three frames a second. Now, how many seconds are in an hour? How many seconds are in a minute? Yeah, that adds up a lot. Okay, now take, well, there's 60 seconds in a minute. Divide it by three. In one minute, how many pictures could they take? A bunch. A lot. (laughs) Okay, who who, who has a calculator on hand? Tell me. (laughs) Okay. Not me. You got a cell phone? Go to your calculator. Divide three Uh, into 60. That'll tell you how many pictures can be taken in a minute. Well, that's 20, 3 into 60. Okay, now you take yep. take that number and divide it, uh, I mean, multiply it by 60 in, in an hour's time. 12, so what's that, 1,200? 12, 12, yeah, it's, 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 well, whatever. I, I'm telling you, it's quite possible if, if he was out there just go, going bang, 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 taking pictures, you know, I, I believe that's quite possible. He also said this guy last night, all the batteries would implode because the vacuum, they couldn't implode because the vacuum, because they were in a vacuum contained unit. They weren't in a Hasselblad, it, you know, with, come on. I, I hate these Maybe. wise tales, that folklore that people talk about shit they don't know about. <laughs> well, let, Maybe his head let imploded. Me ask, let, me, <laughs> let me ask you one question, Gary, since you are a film expert. How come some of the pictures have the line behind the objects? Is there, there's got to be a reason for that. I don't know. I haven't seen all oh, the okay. images, okay? But okay. Yeah, that's, I, that's I, I, if you, you know, you can be one of the people that can sit there and say, I was all done in a sound <laughs> stage. If that's what you that's think, not, I don't believe it. I just don't buy no, it. I don't think so. Okay? Uh, come on. I thought, you were go- I, thought, I, thought, I thought he was going there with a Stanley Kubrick. I'm just saying that there's all this crap that's floating around. Okay. Yes, we've been to the moon. Is there a reason why we haven't gone back? We don't know why. We've heard people on our show say that, quote, on the backside of the moon, there's alien bases. Well, maybe there is. Maybe yeah. there isn't. But we know one thing. When the astronaut stepped out of, you know, the command module, and what did he say? He said, look at all these craft. They're bigger than anything we have. And what the NASA tells them immediately, go to the medical channel. Don't talk anymore. Go to the medical channel because it was a secure channel. The channel he was on, amateur radio operators were tuned in and listening, not just NASA. The news media was listening to it because they could just dial into the frequency. They went to a secure channel. That's Yeah, and it was two. Yeah. Go, Gary, I'm and sorry. You know, an, another thing, if you really want to see a guy's conviction of what he knows, look at Buzz Aldrin when Trump said he really doesn't think much about the aliens or UFOs. He uh, doesn't he, believe. He said he didn't believe there's anything as UFOs. They don't exist. And what did he do in that little video when he was there getting a ward, right? Yes. He, yes. I, he rolled his head back. He tilted his head back. He rolled his eyes, and you could see his mouth saying, you dumb, blah, 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 blah. You know, he was muttering to himself. <laughs> you can see that video. And it, it, you could tell he was really upset with what Trump said. And here he is getting. 